Well, the best high tech soccer teams in the world are at Georgia Tech this week. What's a high tech soccer team? Robotica. Well, it's a moving competition at Atlanta's Georgia Tech campus today. Robots of all sizes are testing their metal against rivals from around the world. Our Bonnie Schneider is at the Robo Cup, and she says there are some serious applications behind all the robotic fun. I'm Bonnie Schneider at Georgia Tech for the RoboCup World Competition, where robots are performing things that you probably can't even imagine, like search and rescue missions. Through the maze behind me, robots are actually looking for, let's say, victims of an accident. Joining me now is Tucker Balch. And Tucker, how does this work? How do the robots know where to find victims of an accident? If there's a disaster, a building sort of fallen down, it's dangerous for people to go in. So the idea is that we send robots in to find the people, uh, the injured people, and when we know where they are, the rescuers can go in and get them quickly. This robot has many, many sensors. This robot is uh, from the Japan United team. It's got cameras, laser sensors. Most of the robots we've been seeing here have been playing soccer. And why, how does soccer relate to the advances in robotics in general? Suppose we had a humanoid robot that could play soccer with a human. Uh, that, you know, people might say that's frivolous or whatever, but if a robot can do that, it can do so many, many other things in our world. It's amazing the technology that's being developed that will actually help people in their everyday lives and also help businesses. Robots set up to do a replication of what people do, so you could actually use this robot to be trained to simply do an easy task, and then it'll do that task over and over and over again without having to do anything with programming. Well, we sponsor the RoboCup competition because it's an excellent venue for us to see new technologies being brought to life by young students. The goal here is by the year 2050, robots will actually be able to compete with humans in the World Cup soccer tournament. I guess we'll have to wait for that. Bonnie Schneider, CNN, Atlanta. You're watching Good Day Atlanta. Hey, look, there, I did it. See, <laughs> watch. Woo! This is awesome. Well, this week, nearly 300 teams from 33 countries are in Atlanta for a high-tech competition, and each one is vying to become a world robo-champ. Jeff Hill is live at Georgia Tech for RoboCup 2007. About ready to get attacked here, Suchita. <laughs> <laughs> They're converging on us. Oh, those are cool. Those are cool. And there's ones over here that actually look like humanoids. So we got a lot of stuff to show you this morning. This is uh, Professor Charles Isbell. He's a professor of uh, computer science here at Georgia Tech. One of the, oh, oh ow, it just hit me. One of the co-organizers of uh, RoboCup. Tell us all about RoboCup. Well, uh, RoboCup's an international competition. It's um, in its 11th year. Uh, we have 39 or 40 countries from all over the world, about 200 teams. Transformers has hit the movie theaters. Real-life robots are hitting the soccer field, hoping to win the 11th annual International RoboCup. Participants from 37 countries have assembled teams of robots to do battle in Atlanta. The goal of the competition is to construct a robo team that will beat the human World Cup champions. But rest easy, Italy, your title is safe. The technology is not expected to be in place for at least another 40 years. It's the 17th annual RoboCup competition there. University teams from all over the world have created robotic soccer players, and they have games that can be amazing. As you've guessed, it's tonight's West Side Story. The robots are actually programmed to think while they're playing. The only human input they get is a human referee who whistles the start of play, awards penalty kicks, and out of bounds. Because like human players, they do kick the ball out of bounds. Soccer has the World Cup. Yeah. Both science and techno wizards, they are battling out for what is called the Robo Cup, TJ. How appropriately named. Robot <laughs> surfing, baby. Ah. <laughs> that looks really dangerous. Yeah, it's very hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll be back. Georgia Tech, show you what else this thing can do. This is a rescue robot. Boy, do we have something cool for you. Just imagine a soccer match with no groaning players, no screaming at the other team, just a lot of worrying and clanking. Well, Betty, if it doesn't work out with your marriage to TJ, this robot's single. <laughs> we are here at the RoboCup competition here at Georgia Tech, and the robots are competing for the soccer championship. Yeah, turn around. We have the uh, 
Georgia Tech heavy metal search and rescue. This is the guy that I was uh, surfing on earlier. It, it took him a while, but he did it. You just have to believe in these types of athletes. <laughs> All right, I will give it to him. Bonnie Snyder for yeah. us at the Robo Cup. Thank you so much, Bonnie, he for the increased demonstration. Increase the speed on Robo Erectus there. <laughs> <laughs> you just had to say the name. I did. <laughs> Robots taking on humans at the World Cup? Well, scientists aren't really there yet, but these miniature robots can score a couple of goals of their own. A look at this competition and others where the events are played on the field of the size of a grain of rice. Okay, hablando de juventud, resulta que ya en el tecnológico de Georgia se llevó a cabo una competencia robótica. And at number three today is the RoboCup 2007. It's a robot soccer tournament sponsored by Georgia Tech. Yeah, this quarterfinal match was between two German teams, the Darmstadt Dribblers and Team Nimbro from the University of Freiburg. Okay. Thank Judges you. say that the game was the best match of the entire tournament. We say, however, hmm. it's one of the best soccer matches of all time. It appears goalie 6 180 has experienced a physics malfunction, and the opposition will logically capitalize. Trajectory is accurate. Yeah. Yeah. They're never good with the long repeating letters. No. Robotica.